This is where the violence finally came to an end. The images of what happened gripped the nation. All of this started around 3.15 p.m. But the terror in the Permian Basin lasted about an hour. We also spoke with the Odessa police officer who took the life of the gunman. Corporal Vival knew something had to be done or the shooter could have murdered even more people. It affected me just knowing that I had to shoot somebody. I had and still do have a, a great support system here at the PD. A lot of people here understand what, what I'm going through, what I went through that day. Why? Many have been asking that question. Authorities say the gunman had mental health issues. That's why the Davis family has been working to raise awareness regarding mental health as well as for health care for children right here in the basin. You never think it's going to happen to you, but when it does, I pray we have the resources needed to take care of your baby. Kelby Davis knows her family story could have had a much different ending. One without little Anderson still here today. Just your pretty smile. I want to live in a community that can take care of young children, and I understand there's so much that goes into that. There's this Odessa mother that. praises the doctors and nurses at Medical Center Hospital. They did everything they could to help Anderson, but she needed more. Your baby um, is so sick that they need to be in an intensive care unit. Um, the closest is Lubbock. It was like a storm around the Lubbock area. They weren't sure if they were going to go there. They weren't sure if they were going to be able to carry enough fuel to make it all the way to El Paso. We were kind of at the standstill, and then the storm cleared. We were able to put her on a helicopter without us to go to Lubbock. I'm just thankful that day and lucky that day that my child got out to a hospital. One, two, three. Woo! She and her husband have also transformed their pain into platforms for making a difference when it comes to mental health. There's a lot to be said about mental health, and there is a stigma with mental health. And I think, um, you know, people are afraid to go get help. If you need help, go get the help. It's not worth your own life, and it's not worth other people's lives. I do pray that we're a community that can support people um, that um, are dealing with demons inside of them and dealing with evil. Some emotional stories. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope you remember we are West Texas Strong.